The first tip to making money in your nutrition business online includes showing your face. I bet you're not surprised because if you've watched any of my videos and you follow us at all on social, I talk about this every single day. And the reason being that this is such a powerful tactic for you to build trust among your community. And if you don't quite have an audience yet, even better, it's a great way for you to introduce yourself, for you to let people know that you're a human. There's a human behind the brand and you're there to provide a solution and a transformation for your audience's needs. So doing this regularly and doing this across social platforms is a great way for you to start showing up and building trust among your audience. And if you're only using one social platform, let's say Instagram, then you want to primarily show up there. And then as you grow in your business, you can show your face in other platforms as well. Many of our clients will start with one platform, hit some goals, right? And, and with consistency, and then they'll move on to other platforms. So for example, starting Instagram, once you're able to make money for three consistent months and set goals, and you've got a process going on, then you're able to also add on a podcast, or you're also able to start using Facebook, or then you're able to use TikTok, et cetera. So keep in mind that you want to be consistent in one platform and set and hit goals before you move on to another one. Now it's true among all platforms, no matter what platform it is, you want to show your face. Now you don't need to have your niche identified to get your first client, right? Let's say make your first couple hundred bucks. If you were just to get a client and not worry about it being perfect, but let's say charge 250 bucks for your first client, just to get the ball rolling. You don't need to have everything figured out, but you will need to define your niche, your ideal client, and really get clear with how you articulate the solution and the outcome you provide your clients as you progress in your business. So keep in mind that to get your first client or your first thousand dollars or start, you know, getting things in motion in your private practice, it's okay if you don't have everything figured out. In fact, if you wait until everything's figured out, you'll delay your ability to start helping people and making money. So the sooner you can take on clients and perfectly and progress with time, the better. That being said, you will need to identify your niche at some point. That process for some of our clients takes longer than others. That being said, don't let you not having your niche clear hold you back from telling people I'm taking clients, right? So you will evolve with time. You have to give yourself permission to do so. The second step to making money online in your nutrition business is to set realistic goals. Now I've noticed a lot of dietitians and I do talk to dietitians every day. Many of them do not have clear quantifiable goals or realistic goals. Now, if they do have a goal, they might say they want to quit their clinical job, which is the most common thing we hear, but they don't really have steps to get there and break down that big lofty goal. So if you want to achieve something, just keep in mind when you want to become a dietitian, right? And become RD eligible. If your end goal was, I want to become a dietitian, you have to break down, all right, I need to take these prerequisites. I have to sit in for my exam. I have to become eligible to sit in for my exam. I have to complete my dietetic internship. Well, you know, which program will I complete that through? Now you have to have your master's degree. So there's so many, many steps and goals you need to set to achieve that bigger picture goal, which is being eligible to sit in and actually take your exam and become a dietitian. And that's no different from setting goals, specifically money goals in your private practice. If your end goal is to replace your clinical salary and become a six figure earning online dietitian, which many of our clients have done, and that's what we help you do, you wanna break that down. So the first goal might be, I wanna get my first client, right? Be able to receive payment. The second goal might be, Hmm, I want to make my first thousand dollars. And then the third goal might be consistency, right? You want to be bringing in money consistently in your business. And that's going to help you break things down. If you have a small goal, a medium term goal, and you're building on those goals and you're making them time bound. So maybe you want to get your first client in the next 30 days. And so if you have that as a goal and you write down the end date that you want to achieve that goal, then you can reverse engineer the steps that you want to take to get there. And many of those steps I've shared in all of the videos that I've put here on YouTube, specifically this video where I share the tips of how to start your private practice. The third tip to make money online in your nutrition business is to market your business. Now I know this sounds obvious, but many of you put marketing last and in my business and the dietitian boss method, we put marketing first because if you don't promote yourself and your business and let people know you're taking clients and that you have a transformation that can help them 
they won't know that you're a solution and that they can hire you. So it's really important that you're marketing. And what that means to break down marketing is that you are using calls to action. You're telling people that you're taking clients. You're putting content out and sharing with people that you have a solution and, and a transformation you can provide. And if you don't know what your solution is yet and you're still figuring it out, putting any content out is better than none. And then as you put out content, you'll get more clear of what type of content resonates with your ideal client. So once you're able to start promoting yourself, put content out, show your face and show up to build the no like and trust factor, you're on your way to getting closer to getting your first client and reaching your goals, right? That short-term goal, medium-term goal, and then the longer-term goal. Again, those goals are individualized to you. I'm sharing what most of our clients want, which is financial freedom to make six figures, to work less than 30 hours a week, to quit their clinical job and replace their salary, to be 100% remote and be able to travel the world and spend time with their friends and family on their terms, right? That is the true dream. The fourth tip to make money in your nutrition business online includes networking. Now, this is something that I want to start talking about more. I, in my past, I talk a lot about niching down, making money and showing your face, which are all really important. And also networking is too. So networking is your opportunity to connect with like-minded people. Now that could be peers that are on the same path. I do talk about that a lot because you get that benefit when you join a program, right? You're going to get to work alongside the 6% of dietitians who have a business, right? Because according to the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, only up to 6% of dietitians own a business, a private practice, where 60% of dietitians go into clinical. So because so few dietitians are starting their own thing, and, and the goal of our business is to transform that and create more private practice operators, but because that's the current statistic, it's important that you make a salient effort to find people who are on the same journey as you, who want to make money online and become friends with them. Create accountability partners, support their work. It's free to take a moment on social media and encourage and support your colleagues. So finding like-minded colleagues is important. Also finding people that are in similar industries can be nice. So maybe you're networking with doctors, naturopaths, um, people that would be related to what you do, but they don't exactly do what you do. So that's that's a great opportunity as well. Same thing. You can have phone calls with them. You can go to events. You can support their work on social. Um, just find a way to create a relationship and let them know you're taking clients and ask how you can support them. Now, you can also make sure you're networking with friends and family as well. So you're letting them know you're building relationships in general, telling people, I'm taking clients. Do you know anybody who is pregnant and is trying to manage their morning sickness and know what to eat, right? If that's your niche. Or if you're not that clear yet and you're on your journey, you can just be general and say, hey, you know, I'm taking clients in the space of nutrition. Can you please send me anybody who needs help? And then with time, you can get more and more clear with how you want to articulate what you do. But if you don't know what you're doing yet, meaning you're not clear with your messaging, that doesn't mean you can't take clients and start making money in your online business. It just means you're starting more broad and then with time you'll, you'll get more narrow. Networking is hugely important. So there's many opportunities here as a recap that I mentioned. Uh, networking with peers that are on a like-minded path. Networking with like-minded practitioners that maybe are complementary but don't do the same exact thing. You can reach out to friends and family. And then one thing I didn't mention also is that you can go to events. That's a great opportunity now with COVID. There might be limited events depending on where you live. You might not have access as much if you live in somewhere rural versus, versus an urban city. There are lots of online opportunities. So you just want to search and see what are the opportunities that you have to look into networking for the time being. And then when you do attend events, it's a great opportunity to meet people and share who you are and why you do what you do, how you help people and promote your social media profile and efforts to get a client. The fifth and final step for you to make money in your nutrition business online includes market research. I bet you didn't think I wouldn't share this. And I can't believe I put it last because it's so important. Market research is something so many of you fight about, um, maybe more so than showing your face. Market research is really important. And what that means is that you are talking to people you're doing the research and finding out and validating with your community or the community that you've chosen to support, what is the problem they experience? What are the words that they're using? What are the struggles that they have? Now, sometimes these conversations can turn into a sale and sometimes they won't, but the importance of talking to people cannot be dismissed. 
because you don't want to assume somebody has a problem without talking to them and validating that they do in fact have that problem because your business and your messaging is dependent on what people say and want and do. And the sooner and more clear you can be with validating that that problem is in fact a gaping hole in their lives, the better. So you want to be doing market research as a regular process, not only when you start your business, but all throughout the duration of your business, constantly talking to people in your community, finding out what they want and need, how they feel, what they would pay for, why they paid for something, why they didn't pay for something, and then keeping relevant to the seasons, COVID, going back to school, travels, holidays, et cetera. You want to make sure you know what do your people want so your marketing can become congruent with what they're telling you. And the sooner you're able to be more relevant with doing your market research, validating the problem you solve, translating that into your content, the sooner you're gonna have people flooding into your inbox, right? Your DMs, your PMs, booking discovery calls and wanting to work with you. Starting a nutrition business can take time, but it doesn't have to. Many of our clients are able to get their first client within the first 30 days because they set a goal. The beauty of starting a nutrition business lies in your ability to set clear quantifiable goals. If you're that type of person that needs external support, finding an accountability partner, right? Finding someone on the same path as you can help. And if you're in a place to invest, I definitely suggest joining a program like ours or applying for a program like ours so that you can get the support you need from mentors and following a framework, a proven framework that works. It's created for someone just like you on their path to getting started and getting clients and being able to get paid. I do want to remind you that sometimes private practice can take a little longer than you think to pick up and it can depend on many factors, but If you are willing to set clear quantifiable goals, focus on identifying who you're talking to in your community, doing market research, showing your face consistently and networking, you're on your path to being able to make money faster. Some of our clients will get their first client before they expect it. And some of our clients will take a month or two longer, but then they get flooded with clients after they're able to really connect the dots from the steps that I laid out for you today. So if you're looking for more information about how to niche down and you want to get more clear about what that means, I want you to check out this video. But if you're clear on niching down and you feel like you got that covered, I want you to check out this video to learn how to stand out among the crowd.